So number seven then from paper two, the 2023 advanced higher maths. Differential equation, first order linear differential equation, six marks, given these initial conditions. Well, with this, what you're trying to do is reconstruct the exact derivative of a product, because it's almost there. There's the y, there's its derivative. I don't have the x, but I've got a bit of it still keeking out here. So you can reconstruct it from that if you just dig down. So the integrating factor, which essentially is this term here, that you'd multiply everything by would be e to the, just build that back up, the integral of 2 dx. So that's just going to be e to the negative 2x. Yes, plus c, but that's just going to come out as a common factor. So multiplying everything up. So if you do e to the negative 2x times that, minus 2 times e to the negative 2x times that, that would give you 6 times e to the, but this time when you multiply by that, that'll drop that down to a 3x. Now you may well not show this, but I like to show it. So you can see you've actually got it to work. Is that exactly what you would get if you were to carry out the product rule? There's the y, there's it derivative, there's it differentiated, there's the x, and yes, that is its derivative. So if that's the exact derivative, then the product must have been e to the negative 2x times y. So that's it, brought back up, integrated. Now integrate this. I'm bumping into that part, that wasn't very thoughtful. So that will stay as e to the 3x, but divide by 3, so it'll be 2. And don't forget, plus c. So y is going to be taking that across and dividing, which of course is the same as multiplying by e to the 2x. Bumps that up to 5x, and that'll be c times that as well, e to the 2x. But now you have to figure out what that is. Well, we've got these initial conditions. You've got that negative 1 is equal to 2 times, and when x is 0, is 0 plus c times when x is 0, that'll be 0. So since those are just 1s, that'll go across as a negative 3. So that tells you that c equals negative 3. So here you are. y equals 2e to the 5x minus 3e to the 2x. Unless, of course, you wanted to tidy that up any further. So you could write, if you wanted, y equals, because there's an e to the 2x in there at least, e to the 2x times 2, there's actually probably more writing with this, more ink down, minus 3. But that'll be the one they're looking for there. And so part B for two marks. The solution to that differential equation, this one here, also solves this third order one. If that's the case, what's the value of k? Well, just the same as in when you're doing your second order ones. If that's the solution, it means if you're to feed it through this, it should produce this result. So I'll just need the derivatives to feed them in. So I'll not put that down again. So the first derivative would be 5 twos are 10 e to the 5x, 2 threes are 6 e to the 2x. Next derivative, 50 we're up to e to the 5x, 12 e to the 2x, the third one, which is the one I need, or the most that I need, is 250e to the 5x minus 24e to the 2x. Now just feed it into that and see what you get. So I just want that. 250e to the 5x minus 24e to the 2x minus 5 lots of, now this one, 50e to the 5x minus 12e to the 2x, should come to something like that, but I'll wait and see what it comes to, and hopefully it will be something like that. Right, so what does that come to? Uh, maybe I should see something like, in this part here, in 1. So 250, take away 250, they go. So I've just got them left, a minus 24 and a plus 60. So there's 60 minus 24 lots of e to the 2x. That's what this lot comes to, which is 36. Which, if you were to compare it with what you're meant to get, comparing it with k e to the 2x, that means that k is equal to 36. There it is.
So number eight then from paper two, the 2023 advanced higher maths format question, geometric sequence. In the first part, it tells you the fourth term, so U4 is nine. So that'll be AR cubed is equal to nine. And the seventh term, which will be the first term multiplied by the common ratio six times is equal to two, four, three. If that's the case, what is the common ratio and what is the first term? Well, for the common ratio, if you have to divide them out, the A's would cancel. So if you did U7 divided by U4, the A's would cancel and you'd be left with R cubed. And that would be the 243 divided by 9, which is 27. So that tells you that R is the cube root of 27. So there's the first part, R is 3. Then 2. So what's the common ratio? We'll just put it back in again. You know that A times 3 cubed should be 9 using the fourth term. So that means A is going to be 9 over 27. So A is going to be a third. Now in part B, what does it say? This is just for two marks. Show that S of 2n, the sum of the first 2n terms divided by the sum of the first n terms should look like this. Well, the sum of n terms is a times, now 1 minus r, or I, no, r's bigger than 1, so I'll go for r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. That'd be the sum of n terms. So what is it in this case? Well, r's a third, so it's a third of. And what's r? 3, 3 to the n minus 1 over what's r, 3 minus 1. Well, you can tidy that up for Sn because that's a 2 underneath, so that's going to be a sixth. That's going to be 1 sixth of 3 to the power n minus 1. Now, that means, just by going through the same process again, that the sum of the first two n terms, since the only thing that affects n is this 3 here, must be a sixth of 3 to the 2n minus 1, because the rest of the calculations would be the same. So that s of 2n over s of n would be, do I have to show the 6, because they're going to count, I'll put them in anyway, Blah. of 3 to the n minus 1 over, that's the 2n on top, n minus 1. Now the 6th cancel out, and I'll just multiply that one out, just keep that in a bracket, because that becomes, that's a square, so you've got a difference of two squares, that's 3n minus 1 times 3 to the n plus 1, they'll cancel out, and what you get is 3 to the power n plus 1, okay I've written it the other way around, that's the answer.